What's going on guys, your boy Amazing here, we're back with another video, and in today's video guys, we are here on the Hell DK, and I actually wanted to try the brand new LR Queen Deanne on the fight, because I think she's going to be a very, very good character for this fight specifically guys, so, uh, yeah, again, uh, LR Queen Deanne got a lot in her kit, um, some of the things that she got were actually, uh, fairly substantial, was the damage cap when you stand sub, and you get up to a 60% damage cap, she has build up attack related stats, and gives attack related stats on a stance, alongside the fact that her holy Relic is giving 30% damage dealt. So this Queen Dian is going to be insanely good for Demon King if I'm if I'm not mistaken. We'll see if a great debuff attack related stats counts to not getting our cards deleted because if that is the way it works then we're not going to get our cards deleted on this team and Red Queen Dian can be a substitute for Valentine's Queen Dian on this team. Um, you know we are getting a little bit less basic stats overall than Valentine's Queen Dian guys but I do think that this is going to be a really really good showcase. So you know we have LR Queen Dian here. We got DK Meliodas being our main damage dealer. We have uh, Jelly King for some more basic stats, and then Gulther for basic stats and rank up. And then on the other side, I am running the uh, Shion team that I had for my last showcase. So I'll just leave uh, Shion there on that side, and we'll try not to switch over to that side. Um, but if we need to, then then we might have to. But I think we'll probably just stay on this side, especially if the attack related stats is going to be fine. So we want to test it out here. So let's hop in, guys, and let's see what we're able to do. Also, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe as we are on the road to that fifth. 50,000 subscribers guys and turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on future videos like this now with that all the way let's hop in and let's showcase queen deanna on this fight Alrighty, guys, so we are loading into the fight here against the Demon King, and uh, yeah, I think we're gonna do really well with this team, guys. Like, normally, I run the Red Queen Deanne anyway, because I don't have Valentine's Queen Deanne, so just getting an upgrade on that character in general, I think, is gonna be really, really good. So, right there, he goes for the AoE. That's gonna do a little bit of damage to us, and yeah, I know we're gonna get that damage accumulation on Deanne, which is obviously gonna be very helpful. So, uh, yeah, right there, we are gonna get targeted on Gulther. He's gonna tank that, and so now what I'm gonna do right here guys is i'm gonna stand up and and you know it's another thing that's nice too is that queen dian's uh attacker is actually a debuff now so, uh, so that gives you more debuff cards you can use um so let me actually do that right there let's do uh gulther's attack and then we'll do uh yeah we'll do we'll do king's aoe right because that's gonna net us a uh, rank up where uh gulther's gonna have his skill rank up and then the turn after, we should be able to deal a fairly good chunk of damage. So, because we did Queen Dian's stance as well, guys, we have a great debuff attack related stats. Now, does this allow us to dodge getting the um the cards deleted at at the end of the turn like let's see like i'm really curious to see if this does work and if it does then queen dan's gonna be great for this if not then it's not gonna be uh like too great because of that though let's see we do get our cards deleted okay so the gray debuff okay so that is yeah that's a little bit bad then yeah so okay so queen dian is not actually going to be able to be on this turn um because of the fact that it's a gray debuff or a gray buff attack related stats so me noticing that now that is definitely uh, a little bit of a you know kind of kind of sucks man i'm not gonna lie like that would have been nice if you were able to dodge that pretty much how that works on that phase guys is that if you have some type of attack related stat buff um and it has to be a blue buff now that we've confirmed it um you actually don't get your cards deleted and i would have been able to rank up that turn completely fine um but unfortunately because of that we do have to kind of stall out the turn here and so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna rip or i guess what we'll what we'll have to do is you know what i'll do i'll reset and we'll come back to this point in the fight guys and i'll swap over um to another character then uh for the attack related stat so we don't get cards deleted and then we'll swap back and then we'll actually try out the team again um because that's that's more of a fair showing like right here was again a mistake i just wanted to test it out though just to confirm if it worked or not so all right let's let's hop back into the fight and we'll see what else we're able to do Alrighty guys, we are loading back into the Demon King here again on our second run. So what I'm going to do now is after the first turn, I'm going to move over to the second half side just so that they can get their attack related stats and not get the cards deleted on, on this half. And that's what's going to allow us to get the win, which I normally do anyway when we're showcasing or even running Queen Deanne on this team. So we're going to do that exact, uh, you know, setup right there guys, and we should be good to go with that. So let's, uh, let's actually test it out here. So we do get the cleanse. We're going to need a buff debuff and a recovery card we do not have a recovery card but we can definitely get off the uh buff and the debuff so what i'm gonna do right here is i'm gonna do this card right here just to get the attack related stats 
and then I'm gonna do the stance here with Albedo, and I'm just gonna waste this card as well. And uh, yeah, but then we can switch back to the other side, and then what we're gonna do from there, guys, is actually start dishing out the damage to the boss. And uh, yeah, and then we'll see exactly what that 15% attack related stats is doing with that 30% damage though from the Holy Relic too. So right there, we are going to be attacked into Albedo. So we're going to do the counter right there. That's completely fine. And Albedo is not going to be doing a lot of damage. I have her on HP defense right here, guys. So I literally made her on this fight just to tank right here not to do damage because it's mainly going to be all of our damage from the first half side. So you guys see right there, none of our cards get deleted because we have the blue buff attack related stats. And so now I'm going to switch back over to the other side. And now we're actually going to follow the rules here. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll be able to kind of push through. So let's do the... Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna rank up Meliodas. I'm gonna do the debuff right here with, uh, yeah, with, uh, King. And I'm gonna stance up with Deanne. And that's gonna allow us to get a rank up on Gother's attack card. And then, uh, yeah, we're not, unfortunately, we don't, we don't have a recovery skill. So just getting the stance off at the very end there, just so that we get the, uh, damage cap availability and the taunt, I think is gonna be fine. So let's just do that. Um, and we'll be good to go. So we waste the debuff right there. And then we stance up with Deanne at the last card. And, uh, yeah, that's gonna be good for us. So, there we are. We're gonna get the Wild Proc. And here we go. So, we do get a Rank Up Merge right there with Gulther 2. That's really, really good. And so, now with that, we might be able to actually just finish him off here with DK, guys. I, I think DK, uh, DK Melly might be able to just do it, right? So, okay. So, we're getting a lot of debuffs on us. Um, Melly will be able to cleanse and Rank Up because of those. Um, so that's gonna be completely fine and then uh what we could also do here too is we could just do the uh damage here with deanne and uh, meliotis so i'm gonna actually do this and then into meliotis single target rank three and i think this might be enough guys you know we have that uh rank up uh you know effect from Gother. we have the uh, damage from deanne that she's gonna do here and it's also gonna be if i have enough gauge gauge reduction too uh no but we did 700k though that's really good and then a single target for Melly, 5 million. Okay, I mean, hey, that, that's good. That that gets us out of that phase, and we're moving into the next phase already. Okay, I'm, I'm going to take that. And then uh, moving into the second phase here, so we need level 2, level 1, level 2, uh, which we do have as well. Um, so what I'm going to do here then is I'll just kind of waste cards, I guess. So, you know, we'll do Gulther's card. Uh, we'll do Melly's AoE. And I'll do, I guess, I, I guess it's just a DN attack as well. Um, unfortunately, we do not have all the effects that we normally do unless we have the stance up. So we have to top deck another stance here to be able to take advantage of what we were trying to do. So there we go. Um, this should allow us to get a rank up though, right? Because uh, we are using three different skills. So uh, Gulther is going to be able to rank up right there. Yup. And uh, let's see. We do get a stance at the end there. That's really good. So, yeah, we can do level two. Oh, we can actually do level two with rank up and then into level one, level two, right? We can actually do that. Um, King is getting very, very low right there. And then AoE, okay. So we are going to cleanse that. Um, we do live. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the rank up right here. I'm going to do... Oh, no, we have to do... Okay, this is what we have to do, guys. This is what we have to do. We have to do level two melee into stance rank one dn and then into rank up with go through that's what we have to do because that's the only way we're gonna follow the complete rules here just to cleanse all of those you know debuffs on our team here so we have to do that so let's do that we'll do the stance here with dn and then we'll do the rank two rank up right there and that's gonna completely remove all of our uh, debuffs that we have on the team and we should be able to from that point be able to kind of finish off the fight here so let's see um, all the debuffs are removed he's stunned so we have a turn of just, you know, kind of stalling and uh, King does kind of heal up a little bit right there too. And so now what I'm going to try to do guys, is I'm going to try and get some damage off here with the team. So I think what I'll try and let's, let's see what Deanne's stats are looking like right now too. 42k attack, not bad. Um, she has a lot of HP, a lot of HP related. Um, I think what I'll try to do then is I'll rip your Gother's ultimate. I'll do the Deanne single target and I guess I will rip uh yeah i'm thinking maybe the aoe with king just to get a heal or maybe a single target with him let's try that um and we should be able to get a fairly solid heal with that as well so 700k from gulther right there we do dn single target this is gonna do a lot because she has a lot of build up right so 2 million yo that's crazy actually wait yo dn did 2 million right there yo wait that that's honestly that's really good damage guys that's a very very good damage actually um considering you know all that build up that we got the attack related stats we were building up as well all of that did matter for that damage like that was felt so wow I, i'm uh pleasantly surprised in the right there man that, that was good that was very very good so okay 
There we are, we're getting attacked on Deanna. She's gonna be obviously tanking that completely fine. Um, so now we do need level two, level three, level one, which we do not have level two, uh, but we do have level three and level one, guys. So I think what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna do the uh here how do we want to do this i guess just restance up waste that we'll do level three and then i'll do level one and we'll do the uh yeah we'll just do the other dn card which will be gauge reduction too so we'll remove his ultimate right so yeah we're gonna follow some of the rules there we are gonna get our health a little bit stripped um but this should still be good for us uh overall so aoe there we go and then we do the single target with dn right there and then, uh, yeah, that's going to be gauge reduction. And that does about 500k right there too, guys. That's not bad. That's not bad, 500k. Um, so we do take the gauge right there. And he's not going to have his ultimate. Um, so he's going to do the AoE. And then he's going to have to be forced to be targeting into Deanne. And then we can just finish him off right here easily. So, you know what? Queen Deanne, major upgrade with this LR. Because she's doing so much more damage now, right? So now all we have to do, guys, is just go for the damage with Melly here. And we actually do finish off the fight. So, I, bro, I want to see Deanne's ultimate damage. Though. I am 6 out of 6 and I'm like kind of stacked up right now buff wise, but I know Melly will kill like what's Melly stats looking like right now 87k attack like he's gonna kill guys I'm gonna rip uh, you know the single target right there with Meliodas But I am also gonna rip the Queen Deanna all just in case we get it off like I just want to try it You know what? You know what? Do I want to do that? That's kind of risky though If I do this and then Queen Deanna's all doesn't kill that's really risky though That is really really risky. Okay, you know what for the showcase for the showcase, I will do the all, and then I'm gonna follow up Melly single target rank three. Uh, for the showcase, I'm doing this, guys, because I don't think Melly uh, rank two kills here. Yeah, so then we can get off Queen Deanne's all, and let's see, 2.3 mil. That's good. That's good, and then that should finish it off. Okay, so even though we were we were trying to get the showcase in there, we actually did finish it off, guys. And yeah, I mean that goes to show how strong she can be. You know, unfortunately, she's not gonna be able to, you know. Uh, you know block that first part of the fight where you know your cards get deleted if you have an attack related buff Hers doesn't actually count for that guys because it's a gray buff But still a very very good character for this fight and I highly recommend you guys use her So there we go guys that's going to be the showcase right there for LR Queen Deanne on the Demon King fight Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below and that's gonna be it for the video And we'll see you guys on the next one man. Peace out. Have a great rest of your day guys. See you later man